WTF is W-A-N, also pronounced WAN. So in this video, I'm gonna explain what a WAN is, why businesses use it, and how it connects multiple locations. So in enterprise IT, this is also known as a wide area network, but a lot of people, especially networking folks, just call it a WAN. So a WAN is a network that connects devices and offices and data centers across large distances, whether it's across a city, a country, or even globally. So unlike a local area network, which operates within a single office building, a WAN extends beyond a single location using private circuits, the internet, or both. In addition to connecting multiple sites, businesses also use wide area networks to allow remote users to access applications securely and more reliably. So here are three types of WAN connections. So the first one you might come across when talking to a client or a colleague about Enterprise networking is MPLS. This is a private, high-performance WAN service for large enterprises. The second could be a dedicated private line. Sometimes it could be a wave or it could be a dark fiber. This is a leased line that provides direct point-to-point -point connectivity. And the third could be a SD-WAN, which is a software-defined wide area network. So this is a modern approach that uses multiple connection types like fiber, broadband or LTE. And many businesses are actually moving from traditional WANs to SD-WAN to improve things like flexibility and performance and security, all while reducing costs. Since we partner with the industry-leading SD-WAN providers and network carriers that offer these wide area network services, we often help our clients figure out which is gonna be the right approach based on their unique requirements. Hopefully this helps so next time someone on your team or one of your clients brings up WAN, you won't be sitting there wondering, 